Tunes from the bag, tunes from the bag. Hi everybody, thanks for joining me for another episode of Tunes from the Bag. Yes, I'm wearing the same shirt because it's the same day. <laughs> and I just did a grandfather's clock and twin sisters and I'm thinking like, if I pull another one, maybe it'll be a tune I actually know how to play. <laughs> like something that I actually play more often or like that I would call in a, I don't know, actually, I, I call any tune, yeah, it's all good. Anyway, I, I haven't developed a policy yet of like, you know, I played this game once that I will never play again called Grab Bag, where the rule was one touch, no look, which is, I'm not going to get into it, but whatever thing you touched first, you pulled that one out. And I haven't been doing that. I've been kind of manhandling them, stirring them around, but I got one now. I haven't looked at it yet, and let's see, what is it? I cannot read that. County Blues. Dixon County Blues. Oh, okay, Dixon County Blues. Arthur Smith. Yeah, my man. Arthur Smith is like my uh, greatest fiddle hero that I never met. Probably, yeah, probably, probably him. There's, there's a few others I would put up close to that category, but, you know, I've been fiddling for a few years before I heard any of his music, and when I heard Arthur Smith's music, I thought, that sounds like me. And I don't mean like I'm like as good as him or something, but I mean like that energy, that spirit and sense of timing and everything that he was doing, like the way that he was sliding around and his sense of expression was like, I was like, man, that's what I'm trying to, like, that really resonated with me. So, um, I learned a lot of Arthur Smith tunes. Probably if you stick with me through this, um, series, there's going to be a lot of Arthur Smith tunes. So, um, what can I say about Arthur Smith? You know, he, uh, he was one of the early, uh, Opry stars and he was in, uh, films in Hollywood even. So aside from being a great fiddler, he was he was a showman, and um, he was also a railroad man, and and so he was constantly traveling, going places. Uh, he played a bunch with the McGee brothers, Sam and Kirk McGee. He also played a bunch with the Dunmore brothers and recorded with both of these groups. Um, there's a good number of recordings of his out there that I would recommend checking out. Uh, so Dixon County Blues, there's two different Dixon County Blues is, blueses, plural of blues is blues. But, uh, which one should I play? Or should I do them both, just in case I don't draw this one again? Um, I'm gonna do one or the other.
Dixon County Blues. And I tell you what, if you join me on Patreon, I'll post the other Dixon County Blues there for anyone who joins me on Patreon. And also, if you stick around for the series long enough, I'll probably draw this one again and, and play the other one. I love them both. I will say the other Dixon County Blues is square, and this one's crooked, so the other one is better for um, playing with people who don't know it, you know, when you're doing a jam and calling a tune that people don't know. But, uh, you know, people figure this one out too. It's a lot of fun. Some people love those crooked tunes because it's like, what's going on? I gotta pay attention. That's fun. Um, well, y'all are sweet. Thanks for sticking around. I think I'm probably gonna do some more after this, but uh, thanks. Uh, okay, goodbye for now. See ya.